And now for a niche. I see a tactic here. What is it? Queen to d1. Oh, no. Because your knight has to move somewhere. It's attacked. And oh. wherever it moves, there's knight takes e6 and bishop b3. Oh, this guy. This is why he's a U.S. champion, everybody. Let's show this tactic. Queen to d1. Retreating is the first step to progress. The knight has to move. It's under attack. You drop back. Knight takes e6. Queen takes e6. And what's the queen doing back home? Protecting the b3 square. That pins and wins the queen, and that's game. That is game. I think after queen d1, he'll have to play bishop c4. Because you're going to lose you're gonna lose a piece, but at least you can try to get that rook on f1 for it. Okay. Bc5, bishop f1, and then you try to, to capture c5. Okay. Actually, I think that Anish does have very good calculation. Uh, so I, he's being hard on himself, but I really think he's a very good calculator. He's trained it since he was a child. Like, this is full board tactical awareness. This is what like Hikaru is just the best in the world at, and obviously Magnus also. And some players struggle a bit more with it, but I would assume that Anish would find this. This is fully within his capabilities, but he found it. There it is, Queen D1, perhaps the move of the semifinals in game one, but look at Nihal. He understood the tactical sequence would not be in his favor. He goes for Bishop F1, King F1.